Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Trojan Gymnasium in North Carolina High School for tonight's boys varsity matchup featuring the new four clippers and your North Carolina Scarlet Knights. Introducing the starting lineup first for the new Newport Clippers. Head down, the six foot senior number three, Harry Hepburn. Head down, the five man sophomore number four, Ben Corot. Head down, the five ten junior number thirteen, Carla Skinny. Head forward, the six four sophomore number fifteen, Ben Brennan. Head forward, the six four sophomore number twenty. The assistant coaches are originally coached by country and coaches clippers is fine. Hello, Lord. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the starting lineup for the North Carolina Scarlet Knights. That guy, the five eight sophomore number two, Zach. Six two sophomore, number twelve, Cam Bethel. And guy, the six four sophomore, number twenty three, Nico Carolano. And guy, the six four senior captain, number fourteen, Jay. And that guy, a 5'11", junior captain, number 11, Zach Rudetsky. <laughs> the assistant coach is Billy Hart, Aiden Hounds, Rod Wilson, C.J. Good, and the head coach of the Scarlet Knights is Mr. Paul Tangus. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we ask you to please rise as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem. Watching NA Cam Sports coverage of North Andover Varsity Basketball, a rare Wednesday night home game. North Andover and White, Newbury, Portney, Maroon, I'm going to say. I'm here with my sidekick, Vince, youth uh, basketball coach, my choice fitness workout buddy. You coached uh, baseball. Do co any youth soccer coaching? I did. I did that too. Wow. Until my wife kicked me off the team. <laughs> <laughs> These teams uh, met earlier in the season in Newburyport, January 20th. It was North Andover 68, Newburyport 56. A couple injuries on the Newburyport side. Uh, all the players available for North Andover. Jake Denny to jump. It'll be Newburyport possession. Yeah, that last game was good. Nice and tight eight point game. 
I expect this one to be similar as uh, Newburyport's fighting for that playoff spot. They are. I think they have enough wins to make it in. Because they don't want their seeding to improve. Yeah, they're sitting at 31 now, right? You want to move up if you can, get a little higher. Maybe There's a home. sophomore down low, creating space. He created space, couldn't hit the shot. Taking uh, Zach Walensky down low. Carton yes. Gretz, the sophomore. He's the one guy who's got some size. He looks good, looks athletic. That's a good sense of humor, too. I was talking to the team before the game. He's playing loose, huh? He seemed like to find that. everything pretty amusing. That was Camden Bethel. Couldn't get that shot to go. It'll be North Andover basketball. Similar starting five, looks like, uh, than they've had the last few games. Yes, it is. Jake Denny with the ball. Oh, behind the back bounce pass to Walensky. Oh, nice rebound by Catalano. Puts it back. 2-2, two -two, early going, first quarter. Great job by Nico. Saw that from about the three-point line. Swooped in, grabbed the rebound, and got the two. We'll see how North Ender responds after losing a tough, close game to Central last night on the road. And they lost to Lawrence uh, last Friday night. Couple losses, yeah. Got to bounce back, right? Two great teams. What? Yeah, and two close games, I understand. Correct. Four last night and what, five to Lawrence? So nothing to be ashamed of to the number one and three team in Division One. It's a good let's get back on track game. Camden Bethel comes up with the turnover there. Newburyport trying to feed the post. Another two for Catalano. He, he was looking to go to his left hand, so he made that look more difficult than it was. It's nice early, because they may not know he's a lefty, right? So you, you right, get yeah. a little right. right well, they've played before, so. Oh, and he's getting the offensive foul. Oh, traveling. It looked like a little more offensive foul to me, but two turnovers in the early going for Newburyport. I don't think North Andover has a turnover yet. This little stutter step he got before the contact happened, so. Good call by the ref there. Six minutes left, first quarter. Let's see what the North Andover offense is going to look like. A little motion. Jake Denny for two. I think North Andover feels they're the more th athletic team, so they're going to the basket. Yeah, I think overall they got a size advantage, too. So I think Jake Denny just said, all right, I'll see if I can take my guy here. Got a few inches on him. Signature of the Paul Tanglis defense, right? Playing tough, playing hard. And then he let a guy slip behind him <laughs> <laughs> on the screen. Two point North Andover lead. Here's Walensky with the ball. Zach Farrell kind of missed dribble that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Coach Tanglis wants that ball moving, right? It's a little less dribbling. Pass that ball around. That was Connor Spinney, number 13. The junior going to the basket there. Couldn't get the layup to go. Zach DeRozier's getting the early call. He's had some good uh, super sub minutes, so let's put him in early. He has the ball. Guess they want to sit Zach Farrow down. They talk to him about the turnover. Say, hey, let's, let's be careful with that ball. Jake Denny feeling it. Oh, it's this. Canano looking for the foul. That was a great look. Nico just couldn't finish. Boy, I loved it. Gretz couldn't get the friendly Crozier gym bounce. Looks like they're going to the sophomore, huh? He's a little focal point to their offense right now. Zach DeRozier's with the personal foul. Late arriving or not arriving student section. Some students smattered across the gym. A sparse crowd so far, but I know my daughter's got soccer practice tonight, so she can't make it. This is Carson Gretz, the sophomore. Just short on that free throw. Good rebound by Jake Denny. Yeah, 
Zach awesome. DeRozier's not hesitating. Oh, that's off. We're coming in. Pretty fire. confident. Oh, nice move. At number 15, Finn Brennan. 6'3. So the other big guy they have. All right. He was a uh, Cal All Star last year. He's got skills. That's a great, great look into Jake. A little jump hook. Nice pack by, pass by Zach Walensky on that. that I think play. the North Andover players really aren't afraid of a of a double team coming or certainly a, mm -hmm. a monster guy coming over. So they're taking their time. Yeah, I agree. I mean, and they're, well, all their all their five can handle the ball too. So even you know Jake and Nico get the ball in the post. They can kick the ball out. They can dribble. That's always a nice option to have as a coach. You know, your bigs can, can handle the ball. Oh, beautiful, look. Swish. Zach Walensky. Four point North Andover lead. Three minutes, 33 seconds left, first quarter. You know, last time they played bags, uh, we had Zach, Nico, Cam Bethel, Farrow, Denny, they all scored. So, kind of starting that right now. We got three huh? guys on the board. It's the sophomore. Yes. That'll help his low post game if uh, he, North Dan ever thinks he can hit that consistently. It's a nice mid-range jumper right there. Yeah, it definitely pulls the defense out. It's a double pick. Uh, North Dan quite isn't quite sure how to set up that play. Oh, I, I always hate that when I was playing high school and the net got stuck. Yeah, it really all, throws off your vision. It's all Zach Walensky's <laughs> fault. He swished that <laughs> he last did. shot. Too pure, too pure. Oh, there's a turnover. Good, good idea by Zach DeRosha. Pull that ball up. Uh, look at Jake. Oh, unlucky. And Brennan with the ball. Good first quarter so far. Both teams. There's another turnover. That's the fourth turnover. Newburyport. Cam Bethel feeling it. Ah, uh, that's. Connor Spinney going the other way. All tied up, game on. A lot of hustle, loose ball, comes out on their red. Unlucky there too. Last two minutes, first quarter. You got that double low post to the right. The old picket fence, bags. Is that what that's, that's called? The old picket fence. Zach Walensky can't fix the net. Gotta get the net down, I'm Nick, telling you. Nico Catalano with another rebound. I'm, I'm telling you, put a seal on it. <laughs> call a timeout, you want him to call a timeout, please, fix the please, net? yes. There's a foul on Cam Bethel. Now they don't, they're not gonna fix it, right? They won't. Get a player down there. <laughs> See if the ref, no. Some of the players should have fixed it. Brian Gordon, number 15, a sophomore in the game for the first time for North Andover. Jake Salfrank, a junior. Coming in, the foot, here we go, to get the shortest referee on the court to come over. He's gonna use the basketball though. Thank you. I'm not gonna lie, it was driving me a little crazy. Yeah. I didn't notice at all. <laughs> <laughs> Only because I remember playing a lot of games when that would happen, and it just throws you off. Still tied, minute 30 left, first quarter. Jake Denny and- Tight defense. Uh, well, you said they and already- And Finn Brennan were fighting under the boards yeah. there. Already have four turnovers, and this is why. You see this defense here. They are all over Newburyport. Oh, nice little reverse English there. Ben Corneau, the sophomore. That was pretty. He took advantage of the tight defense. When went, oh, good shot by Zach, just missed. Ball on Jake Southright. One of the drawbacks, you play too tight, the guy gets by you, uh, needs some help. Zach picking up high. Everyone again playing tight defense. Stretching, stretching it out, and then a backdoor cut. Nice Gotta watch block those. by Walensky. Traveling, fifth turnover, number zero. Sam Craig, another sophomore in for Newburyport. It's final 44 seconds. Playing a lot of sophomores, Newburyport is. Let's work the shot clock, get a good one here. Nets fixed. 
knock that ball in. And the breakout. Ben Corneau, he, he just took off after Zach DeRozier took that shot. He didn't try to box him out or anything. Four point, Newburyport lead, shot clock is off. And that's a different philosophy seconds. now, Bags, is whether you follow your shot or not. Most people teach now you don't follow it. Zach Walensky couldn't get it to go. Final six seconds. Great take. Six point lead. Big heave by Sal, Frank couldn't go. At the end of one, Newburyport, big uh, run there to finish the half. They got the, they got the fast break points. Yeah, they scored eight straight. It was 11-9, right, it's at one point, and eight straight points. North Edward got a bunch of great looks, though. I mean, a bunch of great looks. That net hanging up there, those things were rolling around the rim, so. I was talking to the Newburyport team before the game. Their state champion. Mr. Owen Salah. Owen Salah, I don't know uh, what the public address announcer was announcing, but the undefeated Division Three soccer team for Newburyport. Five of their players are on this team. That's impressive. In including 21 goal scorer, Kaylin Twitchell, number 12. 21 goals, not bad, huh? Not a bad season. This Friday night, MVC Track Championships. Vince, you're gonna be there. I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna provide live updates back to you so you can Usually give it Usually the, the live call. results aren't totally live. There's a little, usually a little delay, especially in the field events. Yeah, we're not gonna let a delay happen Friday night back. Yeah, so we're gonna give you the, the live, live version. I'm looking forward to that. Maybe I get some of the team members too to, to text me on the Remind app, find out what's going on, maybe check out the uh, the social media pages. Take my eye off the game. Well, you know, and it's going to be senior night senior for the girls. Big night for the girls. Wish I could be here, but you know, the kids are running Friday night. Yeah, that's right. Your son, Aiden, uh, what's he running? He's doing the 1,000. Yeah, OK. Maybe a relay, and then Olivia. Coach, yeah. Coach Gramps Varney likes to switch kids around between the 1,000 mile and two mile. And Zach Walensky, a little too far to the right. And what's Liv? Liv's probably doing three events, I imagine. She is long jump, 600 and a relay. Yeah, that's her, what's her normal, that's what yep. she normally does. That's, that's the normal for Liv. Blocked by DeRosiers, he, yeah, he can get off the floor. A little hop there. That was, uh, I think, uh, Connor Spinney with that shot. I like to like, get back to how you guys started here. There you go, take that ball, Jake. Oh, this is the first turnover Great for hands. North Andover. That was Sam Craig, got his hand in there. Their ben guards are active. Corno with another basket. The guards are active. Eight point lead. Yeah, they need to, North Andover needs to get some players back when the shot goes up. Got to be ready. Watch their hands. I'd like to see Zach Farrell back in the game. Yeah, he can loosen that defense up. That's a good look. A little back rimmed. Uh, here we go. Get back. Rebound nice job. Spinny. Oh, he's going all the way to the basket. He has some speed. I think he traveled. That is the sixth Newburyport turnover. It doesn't hurt them on the scoreboard, however. Not at all, right? Hasn't been led to directly to North Andover baskets. More of that trying to feed the post, and the pass gets hit by a hand. Yeah, they had nice rhythm early on. Yeah, Nico Catalano is out, as is Zach Farrow. Fall on red 22. Carson Gretz, the sophomore. Off ball. So must, must have been trying to fight through or, or get position down low. Yeah, someone was trying to cut through the middle and there was some contact. Gave me old stiff arm. Well, I think a number of players banged into each other. Yeah. It's Brian That's a Gorda. Good, good cut right there. That's Gretz with another foul. That's his second foul. Quick, two quick fouls. Jake Denny to the foul line. Jake Denny, a pitcher on the baseball team. Jake Denny played freshman soccer as well. I don't know why he didn't continue with that. Oh, wow. A nice little option to have in a soccer team this year. Speed, size, strength. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's not a lot of soccer players on this North Andover team. Not 
now it seems like you see less and less right of kids playing multiple sports different kinds of sports a lot of two sport kids yeah well, on track you see it all the time but a little press by north andover i wouldn't mind seeing that a little full court pressure just to get spinny for three came to bethel back in the game 22-14, eight point. Newburyport lead, six minutes left, second quarter. Both these teams played last night. North Andover against Central Catholic in Lawrence, and the Newburyport had a huge win against Amesbury in Amesbury. Jake Denny gets his own rebound for two. I always like the double stat right there. Rebound, One, two, miss. two, type of press. Now get back. Sam Craig get back, gets boys. his steam. Cohen, he has some speed. Referee finally calls a foul. He got hit a number of times going full court. Camden Bethel with the foul. Not with foul number 12, Bethel, his second. Two fouls on Camden Bethel. Catalano comes in. Jake Denny goes out. Got a little size here right now. All Frank's big body down there. Let's see if they can take advantage. Sam Craig with the ball. He looks athletic. Huh? He's quick, right? Yeah, he's on coming off the bench. Snap. This is uh, Peter Ozazua, number five. That's some height, some athleticism. Oh, that's a tough pass. Probably ill-advised pass, but made right. it. Nice rebound by Saul Frank. Really ripped that out. Six point Newburyport lead. Five minutes to go. Cam Bessel for three. Newburyport coach wasn't pleased that Newburyport gave that up. Suddenly it's close. Nice little Ooh. turn there, Bags. Good defensive stand up. Oh, and then they give up an easy one. Henry Acton with uh, the captain. Henry Acton for two. Newburyport was clinical in breaking that press. The double team was there. They found the guy in the middle. Almost Went like straight to the basket. Right? Almost yeah. like they've been working on it a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Here we are. I'm headline. shocked. Yeah. I'm shocked. Right. I mean, Newberg Co Coach Elmendorf is using the whole bench, right? Mm -hmm. He's got a lot of guys that yeah. have got some time here. Eight or nine people have played. That's a tough pass. Oh, very tough. Oh, out of bounds. Oh, like we, we, we had a good view of that. Did. Referee maybe didn't. Yeah, Ruffy, he, he was behind a play. That was second turnover for North Andover. Another turnover for Newburyport. Like you said, it hasn't, it hasn't helped North Andover at all. No. Still down five. No. Zach Farrell back in the game. See if you see any difference in North Andover with Zach Farrell in there. I like to see the move ball get him in a situ position where he can shoot that three. Here you go, now work it. Now work away from the ball. Polinski very open there. Can't get a bucket. I mean, that was a free throw, literally. Yeah, yep. Take that all day. Oh, head of steam Somebody. there, Sam Craig. He got a pick, he got a pick. timeout North Andover. Coach Tangus isn't happy about that one. You know. You know, Bags, this, this is a tough game, right? You come off a tough one last night. Ah, Friday is senior night for the girls. They're in the audience. They're looking at their phones. Emily Rondeau is there. Nahal Barad, Sydney Rogers, Megan Daly, Hannah Martin, Maria Benvenuto, Avery Brown, Janie Papel there. They're not paying any attention. Almost bags, you almost got them. Yeah, anyway, big senior night. There we go. Got a wave. Big senior night for the girls on Friday. I think it's against Methuen. It is. Big night for the seniors, right? Their last the last senior night game for them, or last game for them. I don't know if it's a home game or a last home game. How, how they do senior night in basketball, but typically in soccer, yeah. that's what they do. They, uh, they won last night here against Central Catholic. Some last second heroics from Hannah Martin. I saw the video clip. Did you? I did. Oh, tell us about it. I didn't see the video. Worked the ball around, got the ball to Janie on the right wing. She looked like she was going to shoot. Kicked it right up back to Hannah. Two seconds ago, dropped it. 
swish. It was, I think it was a 50-48 game. So Vince is going to miss the game for our MVC championship track action from the track at New Balance. A lot of sports action going on for North Andover on Friday night. Seven point Newburyport lead. Three minutes, 30 seconds left. Second quarter. There's a tie up. Kind of tempers flared a little bit, but all is forgiven. So back to the hands for Newburyport. You get that ball, someone's coming in and gonna try to grab it, steal it, swipe it. So I can cross that off my bucket list, getting the girls basketball team to wave to our NA Camp Sports cameras. Thanks Jonah for setting that up for us. We got a few to wave. There's a turnover, yeah. yeah. Oh, we Sydney Rogers was the most aware. She was the first one. Camp Bethel going to the line. Another turnover this time. Hopefully they'll convert to some points. Cam Bethel is the sophomore and he's the kicker and the punter on the varsity football team for the second year in a row. Pretty accurate. Nice stroke there from the free throw line by Cam. Shout out to older brother Braden, senior this year. In and out. Six point Newburyport lead. Kicker. Newburyport best. seems to be able to play fast. Well, no, oh, there's a spin move that didn't work well. We're getting a lot of steals, a lot of turnovers. We got to take advantage. Come on, Nico. Oh, nice block by Sam Craig. Sam Craig looked like he was waiting for that move. He really was. He's kind of sat there. Then that's his weak hand, his right hand. Nico Catalano. Newburyport zoning out of the uh, out of bounds play. It's a good look. Cam Bethel for three. Yeah, North Andover trying to speed Newburyport up. They're, I think they're very well coached. They're running their offense. Uh, so they do a great job of breaking the press and breaking pressure, but they get a little fast. Yeah, the 10th is, turnover. Was, okay, 10. Was the, and that was another one. He, Craig had a, did a great job, got away from his defender, and got too fast. Bounced it off his leg. Ben Corneau, number four, back in for Newburyport. Nice little run by North Andover here. Close the gap, only down three. A little three-man action on the Ooh, yeah. Offensive foul. Jake Kenny, uh, kind of accepting of that. It was a good call. There's no, uh, there's no safety zone in high school like there is in college in the pros with the little dotted line. So, in the early going, North Andover was getting the ball down low, and Jake Denny got away with that, and uh, Newburyport learned from it. Another turnover. So great job by the Newburyport guard to get by the defense, but just turned over. Zach Farrell couldn't get it to go. Newburyport deciding not to run. Pete Zuma there with the rebound. Yeah, I, I keep the pressure on for North Andover, though. I mean, it's resulting in a ton of turnovers. They're not capitalizing, but yep. just watch that. The Newburgh guards have that first step that's pretty good. So, so uh, North Andover, I have them at 10 and 6 on the year. They've, all, they've lost three, they have their six losses. Three were to Central Catholic, two to Lawrence, and one to Methuen, and they have a rematch uh, against Methuen in Methuen in their next game. I don't, you know, there's no, what do they say, no such thing as a good loss, but those are pretty good losses. Yeah. Like, they're, wow. They're ranked seventh out of 64 teams in Division One. There's, there's quite a big gap for them to pass Needham in rank sixth. Um, you know, Beggs, you want, you want to be eight or better. It looks like if you're eight or better, yep. you have a chance of getting two home games. Right. If you go to nine, then you're going to go to the eight seed, probably, if right. you win your first home game. So if they could stay eight or below, we need a couple games here at the Crozier. That's an advantage. But both the boys and girls team are sitting good for the playoffs. And yep. the last couple of years, we haven't been able to say that, right? They've, they've kind of squeaked in and had to go on the road. 
Newburyport's 11 and 6 and is tops in their league at 10 and 2. Ranked 31th, 31st, I should say, out of 71 teams in Division 3. Which is a little surprising. Yeah. Huh? Your first yeah. place team, you're, I guess their they're league, they're not getting a lot of love, but they look good here. I mean, yeah. you, they're athletic. They got guys who can go to the hole. Three point Newburyport lead, 145 left, second quarter. Zach almost got his hand on that. Offensive foul. Nico. Seth Henry Acton coming in there. Nico stood his ground. Nice job. 12th turnover. I only count two turnovers for North Andover. Mm -hmm. That's all. That sounds great. Right. We're getting shots in every possession. They're just uh, it's not making them yet. They will. I have faith. Zach Walensky running along the baseline there. He's got three guys on him. That's a great look. Jake Denny for two. Bill Jensen, the official scorer and the public address announcer. See that little shimmy that guard did. Yeah. And reacted. That's they're all their guards are doing that. Look. Foul on Denny. Yeah, they're getting by us. So that. That's Carson Gretz, number 22, was it? No, no, number 15, Finn Brennan. Sophomore. So he was a KPN League All Star as a freshman. It's number 15. In basketball? In yeah. KPN League, yeah. yeah. Not one of the five cha state championship soccer players oh, okay. on this team. I was checking by the roster, you're right. Not a soccer guy. That foul doesn't hurt you. Shout out to number one, Luke O'Brien on the Newburyport bench. Friendly guy. Were they excited about this game? Were they, they feel good about this game? Extre in? Extremely loose. Yeah. They all have a great sense of humor. Great guys. The non-soccer players kind of joking around about soccer. <laughs> I love it. They weren't as super impressed as I told them about the uh, New England Over the Hill Soccer League. One guy's dad played in that. We talked about that. Zach Farrow, high shot, basket in the foul. And one. Number two coming in, getting the opportunity for a third point here. Nice high arc and shot. He wasn't impressed on the old man soccer league. <laughs> <laughs> no, they weren't. The, the non soccer players weren't super duper impressed or did, pretended not to be impressed about soccer. Zach Farrow. Well, that's a three point play. You tell him, yeah, we'll see in 20 years. You try to play. <laughs> And bags, we have a lead. 20, 26, wow. That's nice. tough play. There was some contact there. A little bit of contact, not gonna lie. It looked like a travel before that yeah, happened. Yeah, okay, yeah. I didn't call it, so I think the right thing is, oh, Zach, watch that pass. Got yeah, that's a travel. So if I was Newburyport, I wanna, I'm gonna, Take those drives and turn them into outside shots. Newburyport has not tried a three-pointer recently. Yeah, they've been getting to the, you're right, right, getting to the hole, but not kicking the ball out. That is there if they want it to be. They're trying to make Newburyport play to the sides there on that play. That's a nice move, tough shot though. Wow, great rebound. There's a three. Rebound Walensky. Someone said go, I think it was Coach Paul Tangless. Last five seconds. Now let's see if we can get a nice look. He had to adjust that shot. And that'll do it. Big second quarter. I think they took advantage of the more turnovers. 17 to nine, uh, North Andover had advantage in that second quarter. It's a good quarter. 17 a quarter is not bad. What do we expect for the second half? I think. I expect it to be cleaner. You know, I, I mean, we're forcing the turnovers, but uh, offensively, just a little, like, you know, it's a little sloppy, um, one shot and done. So I expect it to be a little cleaner. I, th I expect when we turn them over for them to convert and get points. I think Coach Tangus is going to work on it. Like, you he, he heard him yell at the end, like, you know, go. And it wasn't just because of the clock. That was, hey, let's get him out of their other defensive position and let's see if we can get an easy one. And uh, if you notice the pace, it's, they haven't really pushed it too much. You know, it's just kind of yep. getting a rebound, walking up the court, try to set up your offense. 
and, and they're more athletic than that. And so I, I expect them to come out with a little different pace in the second half. Okay, so you've been watching NA Cam Sports coverage of North Andover Varsity Basketball, North Andover by two at the half. We'll be back for the second half. There's the second half horn. North End over a huge second quarter. Got the lead finally, 28-26 at half. Newburyport uh, was going 100% to the basket. Turned the ball over a number of times in the second quarter. Didn't get those fast break uh, points as they, they did in the first quarter. It'll be North End over basketball. Same starting lineup for North Andover. Yeah, Bag, it's kind of interesting. So rebounds wide, Rao is unofficial, of course. But North Andover has four, six total rebounds. But that's because all the steals, right. right? So you're not getting rebounds because you're getting steals. So I guess you'll take those too. I didn't track steals. That was Zach Walensky with the three. Good luck to start the half. North Andover picking up uh, their man to man defense pretty high. Nice move. Can get it to go. It's going to be Newberry Port Ball. Excuse me, North Andover. Newberry Port Ball, excuse me. Possession here over to the Clippers. So I like defensively. I love the way they're playing aggressively. Just they got to be careful that they don't go for little shoulder fakes, up fakes. A little nice out of bounds play. They put the player who put it in play ran to the corner. Ben Cornell, the sophomore. He's leading Newberry Port with nine points. Same play as last time down the court. Nice little three, three man game. Nice backdoor cut by Nico. And he adjusted the shot nicely. There's a little levitation going on uh -huh. there by the big fella. And the laws of physics were uh, suspended for a that's, little while that's there. A little bit. The crows just, oh, I like that play. Did you see that back? I did, I missed it. What so happened? The ball was going to bounce, and Nico, I thought he, he jumped from inbounds, and he took the one and threw it off the Newburyport guy, but the ref said his toe was on the line. Okay. Great effort. Nico Catalano got his hands in there. So don't get beat. Stay strong, stay square. Couldn't get it to go. That was Finn Brennan. There he goes again. Oh, who's that call on? Is that Jake Denny or Nico? Nico Catalano. Be, be the initial shot on the far side of the court, Finn Brennan said, I have a one-on-one, -on -one. I'm taking it. I think that's how they're coached. Yeah, they don't They don't hesitate, right? They get an open look, they usually throw it up or they drive. But he, he saw he was man to he had a man on him. He yep. didn't see anyone under the basket, so he that, took that opportunity to drive. That was a sequence here. I know Coach Tang is not happy about three offensive rebounds in one sequence by Newburyport. Newburyport by one. Six minutes, 36 seconds left in the third quarter. Oh, Jake Denny, great position in the in the lane, oh. in and out. Great look, in and out. That was halfway down. Nobody covering over there. Oh, North Andover doesn't know who. Again. And another offensive rebound. Brennan. So that was the situation, Bags, where the shot went up and no one boxed out. They they looked up for the ball instead of finding a person to box out. Jake Denny. Nice up fake. That's a good look. And Catalano for three. He can hit that shot. Nice, sweet left form right there. Boom. North Andover by two. Nailed it from the corner. Good hands by Nico. Yeah, so that's Finn Brennan, number 15, the sophomore. Going after it. Stays Newburyport's ball. I'm telling you, the, the Newburyport keeping them in the end, the scrappiness on the offensive glass. They are just, the shot goes up and someone's attacking that offensive rebound. Shout out to basketball captain Jackie Rogers. She's here, I didn't see her here earlier. I'm trying to get the girls basketball team to wave at the NA Camp Sports camera. So that could go either way. Just what foul happened first. It's going to go in North End. Over. I think that's right. I think that was the first foul. Can he get the forearm and the chest? 
Yeah, I guess you got to get let the offensive player have a chance to ball. Oh, they're going at it again here. To the left of our screen. See ball, see man, boys, see ball, see man. Is Henry acting with the ball, one of the captains? He's got quickness, man. Well, yeah. he gets by people. Three on two, we got numbers. No one's on Denny. There you go, and Zach saw him. Four point North Ann Everly. Five minutes left, third quarter. These Newburyport guards, Max, they have, they have that first step. Very confident in what they're doing. I think the coach tells them what he expects and they do it. They do. He seems to be doing a lot of talking from the sideline. Executing well. There's Brennan again. Someone called travel. That was a travel. His left foot was his pivot and he jumped to his right and then shot it. He has the green light as Finn Brennan. Two point North End ever lead. Well, it certainly looks like it's going to be a battle all night long. Jenny for two. He's got 15 bags. Does he? Away. He does. I think he had a, quite a few buckets last night against Central Catholic. Had himself a game here. He's feeling it. He's Gretz. No, he's no double team came. He's got the friendly Crozier. Jim Roll. I was talking to uh, athletic director Steve Nugent. He had uh, Tuck Crozier as a middle school gym teacher. I didn't know he was at the middle school. How about that? He's a coach. I thought he was athletic director, coach, but a middle school gym teacher, Jake Tenney. Too far. Good. The things you learn on this broadcast, Max, yeah. right? That's why you're here, Vince, to <laughs> fill in the gaps in knowledge. You have all the knowledge. I'm going to give a shout out to uh, Lee Mandalinci, longtime boys youth travel basketball coordinator, handed it off to Ken Martin. Um, but he gave me a shout out. He was listening to the broadcast. Did he? Yes. Nice. So, Ali, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. Big NA Camp Sports crew with us. Joan is back, but Sue Haas and Braden are here. One's on the camera, one's on the graphics, and choosing the camera. That'll be Newberry football. The crew that makes the magic happen. And again, we'll be back sans Vince on Friday night for girls senior night. Yeah, bummed. Bummed. She could be in two places at once. Uh -huh. Katie says that, <laughs> says that as well. She does. <laughs> Katie Foss, Vince's wife, is a North Andover Hall of Famer, distance runner. Indeed. Pictures on the wall, down the hall here from us. Yeah. Proud of that. Here's uh, Sam Craig, first action in the second half. Number zero for Newburyport. Newburyport changed their motion offense here. Let's see what North Andover's doing. They're pushing that ball out now, so they're making the Newburyport offense start out wider, but boy. Finn Brennan with the green light. He had, he looked like a little bit about that Dallas player, Luka Doncic. He, yeah. he, he, he was going slow, but he was creating space. Creating space, he's got big shoulders, right? He's got a little weight on him. He can move people around a little. All tied up. Traveling. Not a lot of turnovers in the oh. second half. That's North Andover's fourth turnover by my count. 12 for Newburyport, all in the first half. Quick uh, moving third quarter. Let's see if Zach DeRocher can give a little spark to the North Andover team. Like we talked about at halftime, right? Got to clean things up, bags. A little loose right now. No, Dan over doing a lot of switching. I think that'll help. If they can communicate well. His Kretz. Nice look at move. Didn't executed it perfectly. Zach Walensky gets the ball back. Brian Gorder back in the game. Sophomore. Nice rebounding by Newburyport. They're, gonna, they're not going to stop. Offensive, I think. Yes, sir. Yes. That a boy, Brian Gorda. He saw that one coming. Newburyport thinks they avoided the, the charge. Referee didn't agree. It could be a homer call, but I like it. 
Three fouls on the on the sophomore Carson Gretz. He's going out. Peter Ozazua in the game for Gretz. You know, I'd say normally you take out one of their big men. That's a big advantage us, but Ozazua played pretty darn well in that first half when he came in. He was athletic. Yep. He was active. All tied up. Minute 55 left third quarter. Jimmy Gwynn in the house. Jimmy Gwynn. Is that Liam uh, Delaney? Uh, no, Owen Delaney over there? I think it is. Foul on Brennan. He didn't like the charge call on the other way, and he didn't like that foul on himself. Well, that one I saw, that was a good call. Didn't he? he wasn't squared up, shoulders returned. Owen Delaney's in the house, huh? I think that's Owen Delaney. In the front row right there, next to Jimmy Quinn. Oh, sure, yep. Three Delaney brothers uh, play soccer. There are three. Nico Catalano, twin brother Seb is on the JV squad. Oh, that's a friendly Crozier Fieldhouse roll there for Nico Catalano. One point, North Andover lead. J.D. Foss and I coached Nico and his brother in soccer. North Andover travel. Is that, wow. Yeah, talent soccer, yep. Here's Ozazua. Wanted a foul. They were big then, two bags. Were so they, yeah. They were tall. <laughs> yeah. They're still tall. They're still tall. They're not getting they, any shorter. They didn't stop. Good look by Zach DeRoche, just a little short. Good. Crossover dribble again. These North Newburyport guards, all of them, are just quick. And Brennan, really, Jake Denny was able to stop his path to the bat. Oh, nice fake! Got, couldn't find the open guy. Finally, they do. Rebound by Nico. That was Henry Acton with the uh, corner shot. North End over in a hurry to get down the court. All right. Oh. The North Andover ball. That was Sam Craig with his hands in. 42 seconds left, 22 to shoot. Spring sports registration is open. If you're not registering for track, think about it another time before you register for your other spring sport. Oh! That's going to be North Andover ball. Great anticipation there by Henry Acton. If you must play lacrosse, baseball, softball, tennis, <laughs> Or boys volleyball, feel free. Feel free. That's uh, registration's open. There's no bias here, but uh, we do, you know, kind of push track a little bit, and that's okay. All track announcing team. <laughs> that's right. Oh, there's a nice steal. Oh, he couldn't get. Oh, he's. Wow, with a hustle. A little game of twister going on there. Or no, and then the foul by Jake Denny. Oh, was, um, DeRozier's is injured. And he got a wrist injury. Oh, maybe, no, maybe not. Maybe. He, I think he landed on the basketball. Thought it was his wrist, but he looks fine. Looks okay. Yep. Ah, that hurts. That was his third foul. Well, yeah, plenty of time. Just one quarter left. And yep. I wouldn't say he's in foul trouble. No, not trouble yet. No, no. But it was one of those you didn't have to happen. It was our yeah, ball, right? Yeah, yeah. We were trying to get the last yep. shot in the quarter. That's uh, seven turnovers for North Andover. Shot clock is off. Brennan, Brennan with 11 so far today. Just missed that free throw, just short. And nails that one for his 12th point. No panic, set the offense up, get the Nice last shot, go into the fourth quarter with the lead. 20 seconds. At about 10, right, you want to kind of start getting into your offense. And I mean, they know Catalano's left-handed there, Brennan does. Yep. Now you want to go. All right, quarter good luck. Quarter for three. Good luck. South Frank can hit that to a teammate. Oh, almost a turnover. And that'll do it, all tied up, going into the final quarter. Low scoring third quarter, 12 to 10. Yeah, it's just been that kind of game, right? Both teams, just nobody can kind of get off and get rolling. 
So last night, Vince, you yep. were at the freshman NVC freshman sophomore championships. You saw the races, but they don't tell you the results. Dude, there's no scoreboard. No up there. scoreboard. Well, let me tell you what happened. Oh, I love to hear it. Since well, for I was the there. for the girls, just like in Newburyport, a bunch of soccer players contributing to North Andover. Whitney Smith first in the 600 meters, Woo. minute 54. Excellent. She was also sixth in the high jump. Uh, Maribel Reeland, Cam Reeland's younger yes, yes. sister, uh, also a freshman soccer player. She won the mile, six minutes, 11 seconds. Excellent time. Uh, I know the Fries scored one in the hurdles and one in, I want to say, the 300. Caitlin Scully scored in the hurdles. Sam Schwartz, another soccer player, uh, tied for third in the high jump. And the only non-soccer player to place was Callista Giles. <laughs> Younger sister of Cole Giles. Uh, all freshmen, no sophomores scored Great for job. North Ando. Great job with the freshmen. So uh, Giles is, the brother's a soccer player, right? Or, or no, no, cross no. country. No, cross he's country. One on, he was on the state That's championship right. cross country team. That's right. Cole Giles, the DECA, he's cool. in DECA. Oh. If we have time, maybe we'll talk about the boys' results. The girls look good. A lot, like there were 60 freshmen to start the year. They've been a nice relay. Of, yeah. I know Sam, Whitney, M, uh, Kitten Scully. They were they looked good in the. They relays. might have scored in the relays. Oh, I went over possible. the individual yeah. results. Here we go. All not knotted up. Final quarter. Brian Gorder in there. Uh, um, only non-starter in for North Andover. He has the ball. So if we play clean, North Andover plays clean, avoids turnovers. Jake Tenney. They cleared the seat for him there. Nice left handed layup. This is where I want to see some improvement here in this fourth quarter. Like, don't get beat there, right? Don't don't give up those easy shots like Sam that. Sam Craig. He, he, he just, that double team, it didn't bother him at all. He thought about passing, but this double team's not that onerous. Didn't all really collapse up. on it, right? They kind of yeah. scooted over. Trying to get Zach Walensky free, and they do. For three, I have Jake Southright in the game is another non-star for North Andover. Jake Southright, a two-way football player as a junior, tight end and defensive end, number 21 in white. I love watching him on the court. He does all the dirty stuff, right? Sets the screens, gets the rebounds, plays a tough Sam Craig, another basketball. So you like the dirty stuff, Vince. Is I, that what I hear? I, I, <laughs> it was my kind of basketball <laughs> game. It's the way I play. What I, position I, did you play on the basketball court? I was court? a low post player at six foot one, so I had, wow. to, I had to dive on the floor and play good defense. And you were a football player as well, and football, basketball, yep. uh, baseball player. Correct. And uh, unathletic in all those sports, but no. may do. Oh, James Whoa, he got fouled. So good. He's throwing that thing in. You got a little gymnastics thing going on there. Jake Salfrank for two, and he got fouled. That's the kind of play that gets the whole team fired up, you know? Set him off on a little run here. That's the third foul by Peter Ozazua, number five for Newbury, Newburyport. He comes out. Shout out to Callie Sal Frank, Jake's older sister, senior. She qualified for states in the shot put. She'll be at the NBC's on Friday, throwing the shot. Mom Kathy and Father Jim are in the front row watching this game. She had a good season last year, if I remember right, in, in, the, in the put, okay. Um. No, we had thousands of oh, shot yeah, putters of shot last putters, year. Right? Nine qualified for states. Have to keep track. I'm not sure if Callie was one of those nine. I think she was. Yeah, she. We had three scoring relay teams. She was on one of them. Follow North Andover. You were deep in the throwers last year. Yeah, the, we were. On the girls' side. I don't we remember. have a ton of people with volleyball playing backgrounds, and we're kind of running out. Thanks to Emily Grant, Callie Southrank, recruited for us a little bit. Just need to do a little recruiting, right? Get that rebuilt. Get those hitters on the volleyball team. Right. Get some basketball players for the spring, anyway. I'm working on it. <laughs> so am I. Yep. Going to get Angel Sanchez and Gabe Lamphere. Yeah. Get out there throwing. I've been working on them both. Uh, oh, they fronted uh, Gretz. They threw it away. It's the first turnover I have. Good luck. Zach Farrow with the basket. Knights. Uh, Come out to a six-point lead. Timeout Newburyport. 
smart timeout by Coach Elmendorf. I don't think anything changed, just, you know, the back and forth. Little, little strategy change right on defense. They're front the player, still trying to get the ball down low, and then. Yeah, I think they switched, and then yeah. Brian Gordon was fronting the low post. So I like, and I know it's hard, right? I like the switching. There's two discus throwers walking across. I don't think you see Nate Jocks, oh, yeah, Nate, Helen sure. Satelli, and then his brother Ethan Jocks. All right, so the, for the boys. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, freshman, sophomore. Uh, track championships. Adam Ferry. You know, you saw Adam Ferry. He won the 55. He if was you a blink, if, you blink, if you blinked, yeah, you missed but it. Apparently, missed him. we were all in awe. We we're like, who is that guy? He was moving. <laughs> so I don't even know who Adam Ferry is. I've heard the name. I didn't know what events he did. I didn't know he was so fast. I had no idea. He walked by. I didn't know who it was. Yeah, uh, Nate Sullivan, sophomore soccer player. Is he Nate yes, Sullivan? Right. Third in the high hurdle. Oh, nice. Get James Janchak, third in the thousand. Uh, I want to do a special shout out to Adam Webster, the freshman. He was the best ninth grader in the shop with 37 feet four inches for sixth place. Uh, I don't think we've ever had a freshman sophomore, freshman so shop putter. Throws 37 feet. That's a good distance. A long time. For freshman, yeah. <coughs> Liam Tolan finished ahead of him in fifth. And that's kind of the highlights for the boys. Excellent work. <coughs> and we're back. And since I'm on the broadcasting crew and it's my son, I can say he ran the 600 for the first time and he ran a 138. The thousand? Just the thousand? The thousand or the 600? He ran a 600. Okay, oh, okay. This time he wanted to try something new, and he 137 and change. He missed, I think he was seventh place. Just missed scoring. Okay, so shout out to Aiden shout Sawicki. Aiden Sawicki, his first 600, and did a good job. Number 13 for Connor Spinney, hit that three for Newburyport. Brian Gorder for two. Quick answer for North Andover. Foul on. Walensky. A lot of scoring spread out here for the Knights. So five minutes left, fourth quarter. Five team fouls for North Andover. Three for Newburyport. We'll see if that becomes a factor or not. Seven Knights have scored tonight so far. So yeah. they're spreading the wealth out, but they are led by Jake Denny with it's like 17. Oh, there's a turnover. Brennan was going for the back door. I think he had it. He had I think it. he had it. Definitely had it. That's 14th turnover for Newburyport. Five point North Hanover lead. Newburyport pressing. Yeah, not, I don't know if that's a good idea. We'll see. Broke that easily just by himself. Oh, and he, nice move. Oh, he got his hand in there. Did uh, Ben Cornell, the sophomore. If he doesn't lose that, that's a nice easy dump yeah. off and two points to Salt Frank. 24 seconds to shoot. Henry Acton, the captain, comes in. Connor Spinney goes out. Big possession for North Andover here. Five point lead. You can make this seven, which I think would be the biggest lead of the game for them. The zone defense? Turnover. Good hustle back by Zach Walensky. Zach Walensky kind of did what Ben Corno did on the other end, knocked it out. You know, we always do say in the travel basketball world, you can't dribble through a zone. It's it really tough. You get too many people coming after that ball, yeah. so. Nice out of bounds play. He didn't take the jumper. Good uh, discipline by the North Andover defense there. Don't overcommit. Don't go for those steals, though, because they like the backdoor plays. Oh, that was a nice turnaround. Good job. Sam Craig, sophomore. He's got six points. Three point North Andover lead, final four minutes. Good screen, nice roll. Zach Walensky can hit that all day. I'll take it myself. Jake Salfrank doesn't try to deny the ball here on the left to Finn Brennan. Another turnover. It's the 15th to eight for North Andover. It's really keeping uh, Newburyport from making a big jump. That's a lot of turnovers. Four 
full court press pressure here. But you get people, you have a Zach Walensky, and this just doesn't work. Yeah, Again, it's, the ball. It's, they're spreading out their defense. There's a pick. Same play. Same play. Same result. He's left handed. You want to send him the other way, if anything. Game's in a line. You want your best players with the ball, and that's Coach Tanglis is doing. Seven point North Andover lead. Biggest lead of the game, I believe, for North Andover anyway. I think Newburyport was up by eight points at one time in the first quarter. Nice move, no help defense. Henry Acton. Three minutes left. I don't care which guard it is, a Newbury Port, but they all have a little shimmy. Timeout North Andover. Zach Walensky taking over. Quick uh, seven points there for him. How many does he have now? He's at 13 now. So you got Jake Denny with 17, Zach with 13, and you got Nico with 10. He only had six before uh, his last couple minutes. He's eating up this pressure defense by Newburyport. He's rising up. So uh, the boys, for the few, they, they have a rematch with Methuen, who they lost to. Methuen's ranked 22nd in Division One. Then they have Gloucester at home. That's an interesting one. Gloucester's, I think, in Division Four. And then Lowell ranked 14th on senior night a week from Friday. Week, okay. Lowell is much improved since last year. Lowell beat Central, I think, this year. That's one of Central's few losses. Uh, is that right? Lowell, yeah. Correct. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, high school basketball, it's not college, right, where March Madness, you get a big part of the, the season. This is the February frenzy. And it, this is, you know, you're, you're establishing yourself from seeding and playoffs. So this is a... This is, a, this is it, right? This is the last few weeks of the season. Yeah, so no, North Andover's not battling for any MVC honors. They're nope. kind of middle of the five-team pack of MVC large behind Lawrence and Central Catholic. So they're just playing for their tournament lives, tournament lives. and placement. Uh, we talked about, I think, uh, at the break, right? You want to be eight, seated eight or, or better, so you get a couple home games in the tournament. Oh, by the way, uh, Friday night, uh, those track championships, the boys are the favorites. They are the favorites, they, huh? And uh, they have multiple paths to victory. Uh, girls uh, need some miracles to <laughs> improve do. their standings. Maybe they'll uh, make up things up in the relays. Here we go. Uh, great, great penetration, great dribble. Oh, another turnover traveling. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering why... Uh, North Andover was pressing there. They called the timeout to set up the press. I guess they got the turnover. Right, the, the result occurred, but they don't. That, they want to waste clock, right? They don't want. To. That's. I mean, Newburyport had a couple of opportunities to shoot that ball, didn't do it. Just the fourth team foul on Newburyport. Oh, that's fourth uh, fourth foul on Carson Getz. We haven't seen a lot of him in the second half. He comes in, sets up a. Foul. Yeah, still several fouls to give to go here for North Andover shooting. Nico a little nifty behind and the he back. Got the, he got pulled by Finn Brennan. Report, foul number 15, Brennan. Both seven. teams have five team, team fouls now. Fifth. Eight point North Andover lead. Let's see how this last 233 goes. I'm sure Newberry Ward's going to foul, right? Yeah. Not the person you want to foul. No. Here's, I think he's. I'm going to give him the announcer's curse. He's Zach Walensky's practically automatic from the line. Uh, one more. Oh, he wasn't shooting. Uh, okay. Sixth foul. All right, okay. take it back then. It was a good foul. Good foul. I think this possession you play defense, right? You still got two. Three. Mm -hmm. Let the shot clock work down. Just play good defense. Even get a stop if you're Newberry Port. Trying to send Willinsky down the right sideline. You know, watch the five-second yeah. call. North here. has no interest in going down the sideline. Same move. Now he's at the line. That is, other than that, he hit that three. But that was, this is the third or fourth time in a row he's gone that crossover left-handed. Yeah. They tried to send him to his right. He got the pick there. He had no interest in going down the sideline. No. He was going to go all the way to the half-court line to get back to his left hand. Shout out to older brother Jake, free port, sports star. Second account, the, the horn went off. It's five fouls on Carson Getz. Carson Gretz. So are they gonna count that foul shot? Somebody, 
They are going to count it. Newburyport coach wants uh, Zach Walensky to take that over. Well, you're not allowed to sub. Well, there was five fouls, right? So the horn didn't go off. So the referees weren't notified they of the were, five right, fouls. Right. And when the score board, the score tables found out, they hit the horn just before Zach Walensky took that foul shot. The, the point is on the scoreboard. Yeah, it's the right call, right? You, you refs did what they're supposed to do. Well, the horn is not an official signal, right? It's kind of like uh, to alert everyone. He missed the second one, however. Nine point with the inner lead. Yeah, that was, got him early. Sam Craig wanted, the, uh, wanted to go to the basket. You know, Zach Linsky, he's quick. He's a quick player himself, and, and these guys are able to he looks big around the football field. He plays uh, running back and safety. Those pads make you look big. Yeah, uh, that's, you know, he looks taller around the football field than he does on the basketball court. That's when you're watching games, you see a six foot four guy who looks Not small in the NBA or college. Third, so now there's New Newburyport at the line. Two quick fouls by North Andover. Four. Foul on Camden Bethel. Kind of where you don't want to be for North Andover. Yeah. Drain it. Tonight's officials, they were kind of aware that last week was officials appreciation week. Oh, you week. to them? Yeah. I did. That on the JV game, one referee got a Jimmy John sub from Notre Dame in uh, Tewksbury. Now that's appreciation. Yeah, it is. Wow. It's a good thing you didn't work hard game, buddy. Yeah. You get nothing. I want to know when Thrower's Appreciation Week is. Right, right. Probably have it during uh, April Vacation Week <laughs> or something. <laughs> Time out, uh, North Andover. They couldn't get it in bounds. It's a seven-point North Andover lead. A little over two minutes left. Again, uh, in case I forget, shout out to our NACAM sports crew. Sue Haas is running the camera. Braden is running the graphics and the scoreboard. Jonah is supervising, training and supervising. I'm Coach Baggs from the track team, North Andover's discus friend. With me is Vince Zawicki. I'm calling him the youth basketball coach and choice fitness workout guru. Sure, right? Yeah. Both, both are true. Yeah. Sure. Who's, who's the crew back in the station? Who's running things back there? Well, Brian is the boss. Ah. Uh, Bill Robert and Gabby Griffiths fills out the NA Cam crew and um, the intern Matt. Let's see, takes a takes a village to bring the broadcast yeah. to the people at home. If you worked at NA Cam Studios, you could watch the you could watch yourself all day. Whoa! On the TV, there's a TV everywhere. They have three three TV stations: Cam Ed, Cam Gov. And there's another one, so there's, uh, there's the, the screen is on all of them. And they replay the games often. Well, that's fun. It's a nice thing to have if you've got family out, you know, yeah. that doesn't live around here. They can, grandparents can watch the games on TV. One fall I was taking the cameras to all kinds of sporting events. I was on like the whole day. <laughs> you couldn't get away from me. <laughs> Coach Bags was everywhere. I did soccer, field hockey, volleyball. I was on on 24 hours a day. Here we go. Seven point North Andover lead. They were leading the clock. And they threw it away. There's the little spread offense. The active hands again. Camp Just. Bethel can't believe it. Neither can Coach Number Paul Tanglis. Four fouls for Camp Bethel. I don't think that'll be a big factor. Minute 36 is okay. Sam Craig, the sophomore, back at the line. He's up to eight points now. Yeah. Yes. I can see why the basketball, the Newburyport basketball players are joking with the soccer players. Because none of the soccer players get a lot of playing time, right, right. it seems. <laughs> That's why they were giving them a hard time. I was, yeah, following They weren't right. impressed by soccer excellence. What is it? Uh, Henry Acton, right? He's a soccer guy, so yeah. he's, he's getting some time. The other captain, uh, Adam Bovee, has mononucleosis, oh, so he, sorry. I'm assuming, plays some. Will Thorson has his on crutches on the Newburyport bench, the senior. Jake Denny shooting one and one. 
big basket here. It's just short. Oh, he found Catalano. Catalano. I don't think he wanted to go up. Jump ball, Jump referee ball. change. Referee changed his mind. He called one thing and I think he got it right. I think that was a jump ball as well. Uh, Clippers ball though. Yeah, 10th ten, ten turnover for North Andover. Don't foul, right? Make them earn it. North Andover pressing. These quick guards bags. I yeah. Just, they, take, they take advantage of their speed. Ben Morneau, coast to coast. Five point lead, timeout Newburyport. Minute 24 left. So they're gonna talk, obviously, no, we're sitting right behind the Newbury Port bench. They don't have the clipboard, so we don't know what they're saying or diagramming, but they're talking about the press defense and what to do, whether to foul. I'm sure they want the turnover first, or do they foul? When, when and if do they foul, basically, and who to foul? Right, exactly what he's talking about. I think that the who you wanna foul, you, you know, wanna foul Zach Walensky, right? And I think anybody else, though, at this point, Hasn't taken a lot of free throws, hasn't, hasn't taken a lot of shots. Jake Denny just missed the last free throw, so you're gonna try to get a steal here. 18 fouls, so still one and one. I mean, you're down five. You probably could play defense. See if you get a turnover, see if you get a, a stop. Although I'm probably just fouling right away. North Edinburgh hasn't been you know, super hot at the line. Try to get him to throw the ball away here, but yep. if you can't get him to throw it away, right. anyone but Zach Walensky, I would foul. But there you know, a lot of good free throw shooters other than Zach Walensky on the floor here. They not guarding the ball. They got an extra defender. Sending one guy long. Playing center field, yep. Covering Zach, there you go. Triple team, Walensky, and then... Uh, Zach DeRocher's in the game. I think we were in Newburyport huddle. They did exactly what we said. Went for the steal. And then went for the foul anybody but Walensky. We can't hear people, I'm telling you. We couldn't hear him. We're just, we got, we got a good feel of the game going on right now. Yeah. So you got a five point lead. You love to get these two free throws, right? Bring it back to three possessions. Shout out to uh, sister Jalen from the volleyball team. He's here, I saw him, her, excuse me. Exactly. I think I saw Jay DeRozier's here, the Cedardale basketball legend. Watching their brother, there's the sophomore, coolly, calmly, mm -hmm. nails the first free throw. And the second. No doubt about either one of those. Nothing but net. Seven point, North Dana relief. So what do you think about the full court press bags? I, I'm just interesting. Considering uh, they've beaten it almost every time. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think, I'm kind of media. I'm, I don't think it hurt him, I don't think it helped him. Right. Oh, that was just a great pass. Peter Ozazua getting foul, going to the line. This is one of the few games where I think North End ever had a, a height advantage. Maybe not a size advantage, but had a kind of height advantage. Right. You see uh, Ozazua kind of had trouble uh, creating space to get that shot, even though he was kind of free. Needed maybe a hook shot to I wonder if Coach Tennis would be would go into a zone defense because their their dribble penetration has really been giving yeah. them trouble. But you go into zone, make them shoot over it. Traditionally, North Andover very infrequently goes into yeah. a zone defense. Maybe maybe after a timeout for one possession. Well, that's what I was wondering. Timeout. Yeah, he saw. It. He didn't like what he yeah. saw. They were they were a little confused. Nobody was getting open. He, he's done. I've seen him do that a number of times. Call the timeout to avoid the turnover. Five point North Andover lead. Minute three left. A lot of time. Plenty of time for Newburyport, no doubt. That looks like Coach uh, Elmendorf is doing the same thing back. So, right? He's kind of. Where do we want to trap? Who do we want to trap? What do we do if we don't? If they do get the ball in. Don't let 11 get it, I heard that. The, oh, the new travel's I fast up did, there. It did carry up. So uh, between uh, winter and sport, uh, winter and spring sports, I don't know what you're doing, Vince. I'm running North Andover's most powerful freshman contest. Who's the most powerful freshman? Is it a soccer player? Is it a lacrosse player? Baseball, softball? 
track, cross so, country. I don't think it's cross country. I mean, I love it. What, when is it? How do I how do I get a ticket? I want to uh, attend. It's free. It's oh. after school, oh. Friday, March third. Oh, you, all right. You got to remind me. I, I, I'm coming. Oh, here we there going we go. long. There we go. He Zach didn't Derocher. quite get the pass. Anyway, he's going back to the line. Going to test his free throw shooting again. I think there was a second person you don't want to follow. It might have been, yeah, it might have been him. He looked really good in the last trip down. Well, the coach said anyone but 11. They listened. Yeah. Shooting two. Ten team fouls. Money. He is money. He just looks good. He looks comfortable. He's very confident in his ability. He, he, was shoot, he was looking to shoot whenever he's in the game. You can tell he's put some time in the free throw line. He does practice. not play other sports. He uh, is a full-time basketball player, I believe. Gets a little Crozier gym roll. And that's all the time in the gym after practice shooting those free throws. You get those rolls. Clutch. One, one minute. Clutch. Brennan. Oh, he pushed off a little bit. Push off. Let's see if he calls it. Oh, he's got to travel instead. I think it could have been an offensive foul. <laughs> Definitely use 16 the turnover. 16 turnovers. Right, let's see if North Andover is going to run the same action here on this inbounds play. They got the pick a fence. And that was North close. Andover basketball. That was close. So I like the idea of, of the screens, but the, the screens are they're not moving, right? They're not they're not they're just standing there. So it gives Newbury per, a chance to to run around it. They foul. They fouled him again. Zach DeRocher's going back to the line. I'm looking at the North End of a bench to see are, are there better free throw shooters on the bench than in the game. Uh, other than Zach Farrow and Cam Bethel are on the bench there with their sweats off. Well, talk about clutch. This kid has come in, thrown up five clutch points so far in the last Two minutes. Yep. Make it six. Not, the, not he's not swishing them like he did those first two. No, no. But he's still putting them down. That's right. That's right. They all count. <laughs> oh, okay. nice pass. Oh, See that oh Zazua right? couldn't couldn't uh, control that pass. Got to get this rebound. Good That's job. Jay, uh, Zach Walensky with the rebound and test his free throw shooting. Nine point North End of a lead. If Newburyport can figure out how to finish, they get by and they're at the rim, like every possession. All right, I'm going to say something controversial, Vince. Okay. Newburyport's playing for the win, right? They played for the win and prep for uh, playoff are, playoff ranking. For are. playoff rankings, you, you don't maybe you don't want to play for the win because it's a 10-point lead. It's going to help North Andover's ranking and hurt Newburyport's. Right. Unfortunate. Uh, the way the rankings are that way. Wow, yeah, right. Now they're up to an 11 point lead. Well, um, I don't know how it works because Newbury Report's a Division II team. They're, Division they're all on the same, they're all on the same, they're all ranked the same way. Oh, so does it, does, it doesn't, does it hurt you the same if you lose to a D1 versus D2 versus D3? You have, uh, the divisions don't matter. Okay. Is, is that timeout Newburyport? Um, your one one ranking is your average margin of victory. Okay. And, and if you have if you lose a lot of games, your margin of victory would be negative. That's half your ranking. Then the other half of your ranking is your the average of your opponent's ranking. So, in this game, North Andover has a ranking of something like 12 to 14 points. Right. So that'll improve Newbury Port's, you know, uh, opponent's ranking okay. measure. And a 10-point loss will hurt their average margin of victory. So does it typically go where if you got in a higher division, your your rating would typically be higher? Yeah, so if you looked at the Division One rankings, yeah. yeah, they're almost all positive. Okay. If you looked at Division Five basketball, are the, the rankings uh, are, are negative. Roger that. Okay. See, like I said, folks, you're going to learn something here. Listen in. It's, 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 it, it's also an iterative process in terms of getting your opponent's ranking. So for North Andover, this probably the, the, 
separation of the points helps more than. Oh yeah, yeah. Their their opponent their opponent's rating will rating will go down if right. if, if right. But their margin of victory will go up. Gotcha. One of those games that sounds like you, you just can't lose. You don't want to lose a game like this because that uh, hurts you both. Then. Uh, by, by the way, Newburyport's in the Kinney Division of the Cape Ann League. Ah. This is the fifth year in a row they'll be champions of that league. They're in there with Linfield, North Reading, Pentucket, and Triton. Manchester, Essex, Manchester by the Sea, undefeated in uh, Cape Ann League action. Zach DeRogers finally misses a free throw. Oh, you know Finn Brennan. Good take, but just Ooh, couldn't Jake Denny got hit in the face. We're not going to call that one, huh? We're just going to let the game run Yes, out. why okay. not? No harm, no foul. Right, right. No foul, no harm. Or harm and foul. That's right. <laughs> I'm sure Jake would have liked to take a couple of free throws, pad the stats a little. Big final quarter for North Dan. We're all tied up after three, 38-38. Scorefest, 12 point North Andover victory, 67 55. I'll put you on the spot like I always do, Vince. What happened in that fourth quarter? You, the, you know, they just, their, better, their best player, Zach Belinsky, had that little stretch where he took over. And I remember I said the, the other thing is Jake Selfrank making that bucket from his knees and maybe would that spark him from that point on because that was a three point game. He made it five or six. And then Zach got the ball and I think four straight possessions scored. And, and I, to me, that was the difference. And I, the other thing is, Newburyport did a great job offensively. They just they were missing shots that they were making, I think, earlier in the game too. So I'm sure Coach Tanglis is extre you know, extremely happy to get a 12-point win after you you know had a tough game last night on the road to a tough Central team. Um, but it also gives them a lot of stuff to work on at practice tomorrow. Yep. And uh, just to finish up, they're going to finish the season at Methuen. Have it written down here somewhere. At Methuen, then they're going to host Gloucester, and a week from Friday, Senior Night against Lowell, and then the playoffs. So February 17th will be Senior Night against Lowell. I'll be here for Girls Senior Night against Methuen, I believe. Big night at the Crozier. Yeah. Big so night. Hannah Martin, Jackie Rogers, Margaret Fallon, Emily Rondeau. I'm missing a senior. Sure. Yeah, someone. I think someone who typically comes off the bench, but well, we'll find out on Friday. <laughs> There's the definitely, I should, I should definitely know. five seniors. Is Alex Clifford a senior? She's a junior. No, all right. We'll find out who the fifth senior is. There we go. Um, Thousand so, point score, Anna Martin. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big night for her. Yeah. So you've been watching NA Camp Sports coverage of boys varsity basketball. Big North Andover win over Gloucester for Sue Haas, Jonah Braden. Coach Vince, I'm Coach Bags from the track team. Good night, everyone.